when it comes to Angel Heart, one of the more peculiar scenes requested by viewers of the channel is where Harry Angel meets Louis Cipher in an Italian cafe. It's because of all the melodrama over some boiled eggs, but there's more to it than a pinch of salt. It's a scene that lasts less than four minutes. It's filled with clues of the future, most of all filled with superstition. We take a closer look where Harry met Cypher in what I call the egg scene. And make sure to like, share, or subscribe if you enjoy this content and want to see more videos like this one. Angel Heart was released in 1987, written and directed by Alan Parker, and based on the novel Falling Angel by William Chortzberg. We begin our exploration on the streets of New York with a moment that first appears unimportant. Harry Angel bumps into a young woman. They both recognize each other. It's a subtle message that Harry is well known in the neighborhood. This is not the first, creating this illusion of a long established backstory. A man called out to him in his first appearance, again on the streets. We're told subliminally, he's been deep into the neighborhood as long as anyone could remember. He's not just someone who just appeared out of nowhere, right? Next is the Italian cafe where Angel meets Cypher. Angel adjusts his belt and poses underneath a powered fan. This is unusual in a couple ways. First, it's still January in an empty room on a street level business near a glass door. Second, with Cypher in the room, it appears the spiritual energy is too strong. The blades move only one direction and may not even been switched on. Cypher is sitting at his table with a white tablecloth, drinking out of a white cup and surrounded by silver. There are glass salt and pepper shakers, but what takes the cake, or in this case, eggs, are the eggs, sitting in a bowl that more resembles a chalice or a grail. I also take amusement at the waiter in the background. He looks at Angel very curiously, as if he is expecting a second person to walk inside. One thing I noticed is Cypher is wearing the same tie, possibly the same outfit, worn in the Kingdom mission. His wardrobe is predictable. Black, white, a little silver, and some glass. Included is his ring. A piece of jewelry seen on Fowler, Toots, and Margaret Cruzmark. Angel's meeting with Cypher and the restaurant in a way pays homage to the source material. In William Jortsburg's Falling Angel, a restaurant is where the private detective first meets his client. The book made New York City the heart of its story, mentioning many buildings, places, and streets. Restaurants and bars were frequented often, and Alan Parker continued that theme in the film. Cypher's meal consists of eggs, boiled eggs, with an almost religious presentation. He crushes them under the palm of his hand, making the sounds of cracking bones. Cypher peels its shell, the outer layer that physically defines its shape, its existence. But like any who would devour it, once what's inside, that is where the calories are, the energy, the essence. Perhaps this is why Cypher brings up that the egg is a symbol of the soul before he devours it. Could the three eggs represent the souls of others? Harry Angel refuses Cypher's egg. He turns down an offering of a soul. Instead, Angel resorts to his own superstition and throws spilled salt over his left shoulder. This practice of Western culture has biblical meaning. It's not merely to thwart bad luck, but to blind the devil, who is sometimes known to try to persuade you over your left shoulder. Salt is also a metaphor for, and once upon a time was literally, money. The word salary originates from the Latin word for salt. Roman soldiers were paid in it, and why we sometimes say worth one salt. But Cypher is not concerned over the salt he blows. If salt is money, 
he will spill and blow it as much as he needs to get what he wants. He has an old-fashioned belief in honor. Like the salt he blows in the wind, he throws money at Angel to keep him on the case, helping Harry overlook a few inconveniences like the death of Dr. Fowler. Salt or money, it's all the same to him just like the soul of a man, or an egg. Now for some bonus trivia. The cafe business doesn't look very good, and I'm not sure how much profit there is in boiled eggs and a cup of espresso, but the waiter, or otherwise the only employee seen inside the Italian cafe, never bothered to check up on Angel or offer him a menu. Sure, it made sense cinematically, to not interrupt the conversation between Rourke and De Niro with pointless distractions. However, I can't help but to think how eerie the restaurant scene looked otherwise. What should have been a casual conversation at the table becomes an epicenter of fear. Next, is Cypher's choice of wardrobe in the cafe's motif. The look of bone white and black, silver and glass, is a carryover from the scene of Dr. Father's residence. His refrigerator is a motif's crescendo. Even the script describes the appliance as old. The refrigerator is full of white, silver glass imagery, including the glass bottles, milk, and other powders that resemble milk, and black ink printed on off-white labels. The refrigerator itself is made of white and stainless steel racks. The motif is seen well before Father's Kitchen. You'll see it in the bedroom, complete with wardrobe, Bible, and gun. It's before his bathroom, with the mirror, syringes, razor, and aspirin. We'll see it just outside his home, when Angel reaches for his flashlight and marches through the ice and snow. It is a hint of things to come. He's starting on his path to self-discovery. We see, even though Angel left Father behind, the symbolism of danger and death followed him. Let me know in the comments below what did you find most fascinating about the egg scene. This is Mr. G of Synergy saying, Cypher had boiled because deviled eggs were not on the menu. Check out other videos on the channel. Thanks for watching.